day one of our free dental clinic in India. I grabbed my lucky pair of socks and a big bowl of chacos for breakfast. I crave these when I'm not in Hyderabad. I prepared for a morning meeting while watching the sun rise over Hyderabad. We headed off to clinic at exactly 7.45 so we could start at exactly 8 a.m. Our first batch of students is our college boy. We've known most of these boys in this group since they were four or five. Now they're grown in in college, so they better be good brushers. We started some cleanings and I started with an anterior composite. I also started endo on number nine, so we'll pretty that up tomorrow. Dr. Rory started with a pretty difficult extraction and everyone else rotated through hygiene. Our college boys drew us some beautiful art. After seeing 20 boys, it's time for lunch. Four, Next batch five, needs brushing instructions. Six, these are our college girls. Seven, also known these eight. girls since they were four or five. Another chipped front tooth, all fixed up. A big smile right after this video. Turned on some cartoons while everyone was waiting and took cavity screening x-rays on everybody. But no cavities here. Here's one of our assistants applying some fluoride treatment. Our very last hygiene patient of the day. At 8 p.m. we started closing clinic down. We drove home for some fresh biryani. We'll see you tomorrow for Agape Dental Clinic Day 2. We're about to start the second day of our Agape Dental Clinic. And it's gonna start by bringing some dirty scrubs next door to get clean. Because we have to pack everything in carry-ons, we don't have that much space to bring a ton of extra scrubs, so we wash. Also, our water went out last night, so our two strongest team members are trying to fix it. Every morning here is gonna start with chacos and coffee, of course. Here comes our first batch of kids for some cleanings. And my first patient of the day was a quick number 31-0 amalgam. Our next batch of students came in. I think this was first class. Because they're so small, they mostly just needed exams and cleanings. So we were quickly able to bring in our next group. My morning suddenly got a lot harder with a surgical extraction of number 19. Here, I'm suturing. The mesial root was pretty hooked, so I had to suction the tooth. Ooh wee, look at that. There's my patient in the background. She did great. Rory had to take out tooth number three for this patient. Here he's elevating. We treated 24 patients before lunch. Lunch was just peanut butter and jelly today because Indian food would have taken too long. Our next batch of students came in and my anterior endo patient from yesterday returned. Dr. Breedy finished the case though. Here's a quick number 30 MOD amalgam, but this patient was the star of our show today. She had 10 retained primary teeth that we needed to help out. Because this patient is immunocompromised, we staged the extractions into two visits. Here's her x-rays so you can see which teeth we took out. Dr. Brady focused just on extracting six lower teeth today. Again, this patient did great. Our last batch of students came in at the very end of the day. Here they're rinsing their toothbrushes after brushing. Most of these kids just needed cleanings and exams. And that wraps up our day. We had some extra coffee left over last night, so I made iced coffee and of course had chocos for breakfast. We left for clinic promptly at 7.45 to get there for our first patients right at 8. Met a bearded dragon on the way. The first group was our special needs classroom. This girl in pink did not have enough muscle to even stand on her own. She was a rock star throughout her whole clinic. Many of these children were malnourished throughout their childhood, which sadly caused developmental delays that will continue with them throughout their lives. They rocked their dental visits. These were our vocational students. Everybody meet Chitty. I've known Chitty since she was five years old, I think. When Chitty was five, we extracted one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight teeth. When she was a little bit older, I think she was six this year, we extracted one, two, three more teeth. Then we did a few fillings on some baby teeth. Then from then on, we just did a bunch of cleanings. Ever since, all she's needed is cleanings and normal x-rays because she's a rock star. Then Dr. Rory started with a gum graft. Second and third grade came in next. This patient had four retained primary teeth. I removed them so she can continue to grow and develop. She was very nervous, but she did okay. awesome. Yeah! Our next patient had very large caries on two different primary teeth, so I also had to remove those teeth. We had butter paneer for lunch and waved hello to seventh grade. This student made an oral hygiene song. And some girls from ninth class wrote us a beautiful thank you card. Beautiful. I helped a patient wiggle out five retained primary teeth. Then we met a patient who had seven adult lower premolars. I did about six fillings. I said goodbye to one of my best friends in the whole wide world. We had a quick foot race at the end of the night, and of course, Shiva Pavan won. And that's it for day three. In the life of our third day at the Agape Dental Clinic, today we wore our custom shirt, Agape Dental 2023. We said good morning to our dogs and drove all the way to the clinic. Our first group of students was our bridge class. This means that they've never been to school before. They're learning how to become students. We sung a quick brushing song. Morning, 
started the day by removing six primary teeth. Her smile looked very normal, but those were a second layer of primary teeth. This child presented with a mucosil because of her crossbite in tooth number eight. We removed those six primary teeth and we popped that other patient's mucosil. Here's the after shot. She's gonna heal great. And she couldn't stop yeah. smiling. Beautiful. Some wild buffalo walked past our clinic in the middle of the day, and then our next group came in. This boy presented with some super loose canine teeth. So we asked him to wiggle them out himself. Another quick brushing song for our next group. Every child got cavity screening x-rays. The last group of the day was our fifth graders. Say hi, fifth grade. More x-rays for the fifth grade class. After what felt like a hundred fillings, it was time for a coconut. A quick game of cricket. Amelia hopped onto the playground. And the college boys taught us dodgeball. Today was day five of our free dental clinic in India. Kids we needed to see today were kids that needed to return for additional treatment. This patient is featured in another video. Dr. Breedy's morning started with a front tooth root canal and some buffalo stopped by to say hello. I did about 12 different fillings throughout the whole morning. Here's a nice before and after. My patient did great. He had paneer again for lunch and I was so excited. Our surgeon held a quick suture class in the afternoon, toured the entire Agape campus, said goodbye to all the kids for the day. And we happened to catch this incredible sunset over Hyderabad as we drove home. Six for our trip to Hyderabad, India, and we're spending the day in Hyderabad City. Wouldn't be a proper vlog if I didn't film any of the chaos on the roads. We headed straight to an Indian McDonald's because some of my team members wanted to try it. Amari got shake and fries. All the burgers served were chicken or paneer, and there was plenty of fried chicken options too. And we headed straight over to the old city to see the Charminar. The word Charminar means four pillars, and this is a mosque and a monument. Hyderabad's famous for it. Tickets only cost about 30 cents in US dollars and we headed inside. The staircases were super, super steep because they were built over 500 years ago. But the views from the top of the old city were just incredible. Then I got pooped on by a pigeon. Apparently that means good luck. And we walked around old city to find some really cool shops. Hyderabad is known for its pearls, so of course we stopped in a pearl shop and they string the pearls for you right in front of you. We looked at fabrics and dresses and spices and incense. Sights and sounds of this city never get old. Then we had our final team dinner at the Raj Hotel to celebrate a really successful week of treating all the kids. Today is our very last day at the Agape Dental Clinic in Hyderabad, India. Today we treated the employees and staff of the Agape AIDS Orphan Care Orphanage. Most of these folks had never seen a dentist. We did cleanings, fillings, and removed teeth that were badly infected. Ice cream man stopped by to say hello, and we had an amazing final lunch. After all the staff was seen, we packed up all the supplies that needed to return with us to America. And we organized the clinic and marked what was in each cabinet so we knew for next year. We taped all the cabinets shut to seal them from bugs and mosquitoes and rats, realistically. Cleaned everything with disinfectant and then soap and water. Here's our hygiene room all cleaned up and emptied out. We cleaned the trash buckets and all of our washing buckets, and even the sink became white again. Goodbye to our clinic staff and organize all of our charts for next year.